Hello, I'm Bob the Booker and welcome to my channel. Um, so it is here. We've had the long list for the Women's Prize appear. And um, I largely stayed out of predictions for it because I had absolutely no idea, <laughs> basically. Um, I looked at what was going to be eligible and I really... It's a prize that I always find... Um, a really tricky one to pin down. I mean, not like my predictions of the international booker or booker or anything else have been at all correct ever. Um, but I feel like a little bit more like I know what I'm doing with that. Whereas I think, you know, the women's prize, often you'll see this really broad range of stories. Um, and because, you know, the, the criteria are fairly open, um, you know, sometimes you see sort of big hitters that you really expect to see there some of the big name authors sometimes you see a bit of a mix between um quite experimental works and um sort of a little bit more kind of mainstream commercial literature um nothing bad about either one of those things but the, the sort of the way the prize falls often means that you get this this really odd mix um often a good mix as well but yeah i think last year with the women's prize i think i struggled a little bit with the uh the long list to sort of know what to really be interested in and um although i think there were some real standout books that i really enjoyed i think overall i i kind of struggled um a bit with it so i'm delighted actually to see this year's um long list um it, it feels a little bit more like my kind of things like lo lots and lots of books here that i've basically been wanting to read anyway so um i mean this is just going to be a very very quick overview of sort of initial reactions i will attempt to read some of them as we go i'm definitely definitely going to be reading the shortlist um but i'm going to probably dip into a fair bit of this long list as well um so let's go through some of the ones that have really caught my eye so a few on here that i've read already so glory by no violet bulawayo shortlisted for the booker and for the rathbones um we have uh, demon copperhead which i'm reading at the moment and really enjoying um we have maggie o'farrell's the, Ma uh, the marriage portrait which i uh, read just after it came out and loved um i think this has probably got a good shout and obviously she's a former winner so exciting to see her back here again um and then you've got a few other books that i've been kind of eyeing up and have been wanting to read so wandering souls by cecile pin um has been a book that i think sounds fascinating about these sort of three different stories um around the vietnam war and sort of about the the experience of people after that war um and um, I'm a fan by Sheena Patel, which I think <laughs> I feel like is just being pushed on me from all angles. Like, I was already like, oh, yeah, cool. At some point I'll read it. It sounds fun. A few people I know seem to have really enjoyed it. And then it made the short list of the the long list of the uh, Republic of Consciousness. It's made the long list now of the women's. I think it was on the um, the long list for the T.S. Eliot prize as well. And so it's one of those books that just keeps on appearing. I'm like, OK, fine, fine. I get it. I'll read it. <laughs> I'll finally read it. Um, and the other one being Trespasses by uh, Louise Kennedy, which I keep on meaning to read and basically doing that classic thing of, oh, you know, it's, I've put a hold on it for my library, but it's going to be several months. So I'll just sort of wait and see what happens. And then something like this happens. I'm like, oh, OK, fine. I'll also read it. Um, it sounds like a, a fabulous book, um, particularly dealing with um, women's lives sort of uh, to do with the troubles in, in Ireland. Um, so, yeah. But also, I think what I'm finding particularly exciting about this list is not only that, you know, some of the really big names that people maybe were expecting aren't here. Um, in a, you know, it, it, there are a few big names, right? Um, uh, Barbara Kingsolver, uh, No Violet Bulawayo, Maggie O'Farrell. Um, and, you know, two of those are former winners as well. But then actually what's really exciting, I think, is we've got a few books from indie presses kind of making their way on here. So having I'm a Fan by Sheena Patel on the list is a really interesting one. And um, it's a small press. Um, we've got somebody like... Uh, uh, Jennifer Croft, um, for, you know, known previously mostly as a translator, um, but also, you know, her her book Homesick, uh, published by Charco Press, which is really exciting that there's this book um, uh, from a, a small indie press making a big list like this. Um, and equally, we've got a few other people who you might maybe expect who have maybe been on the list before. So Natalie Haynes uh, with Stoneblind. 
but also just a few other books that I have not heard of at all, um, which I think is always an exciting thing, right? The the joys often of prizes is being able to discover brand new books. That's why I tend to love prizes so much. I'm not necessarily always as invested in the kind of the horse trading part of who's really going to win. Like it's fun to predict and it's fun to to see who does win. Um, but I think the real joy is finding all those other books in the meantime. So I'm going to take these all away and have a little look at what I might want to read first, um, which will almost definitely be I'm a fan by Sheena Patel, just because I feel like at this rate, I, I feel like it's just sort of outside my, my bedroom window, just be like, hey, read me, uh, because it's just following me. Um, but what a list, what an interesting and exciting list. Um, it'll be a little bit until we get the short list. So we'll see how it goes down from 16 to six. Um, I mean, it's only three more than the Booker, but 16 feels huge. <laughs> like, that is a lot. Um, but anyway, really excited to read these. I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you're looking forward to reading. Um, take care and speak to you all soon. Bye bye.